my friends, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And yes, it's a marvelous, sparkling day in Central Oregon. And today is, I call it kind of a special video. And uh, today is a day of gratitude. And uh, I've got a box with me. We'll talk about that box in a minute. <laughs> but uh, what I want to reflect on is uh, this beautiful, beautiful uh, landscape we have behind me here. Uh, there was a time it was a beautiful, beautiful landscape everywhere. In fact, the word they use for that a lot is paradise. And uh, there was a time that everything around people was perfect. All the food we ever needed, the weather was great. Uh, everything was in peace and harmony. And uh, just like we always do, over time, we neglect it or take it for take it for granted, and uh, we start thinking we as people are are the creators of everything, and uh, we ruin it. <laughs> and over time, it gets taken away. Uh, as corruption comes along and greed and people thinking uh, all this is created by man and the whole works and eventually it gets kind of it, it gets corrupted and and eventually you gotta erase the board and uh, it's sad but you know History seems to be replaying itself. Now that's not to say that we shouldn't create things and be fruitful, and have families and, and utilize the resources that have been given to us, like chickens and our gardens and uh, doing things together with people, doing positive things. Exercising our faith. But uh, like normal, I mean, a lot of people, you're probably tired of hearing us older folks saying how wonderful it was in the past. And that was only a few decades of uh, family gatherings, feasting together a good Christian uh, based uh, government as far as the United States are concerned. And uh, the family was strong and uh, of course we've got to mess that up too, don't we? So we watched uh, as time goes by diversity going overboard and inclusiveness going overboard not that those things aren't good in, in some areas but over embraced in some cases and so what we've uh, witnessed is uh, a destruction of uh, family values and divorces and single parents and problems with our kids and morals, empathy, are all being questioned or neglected. And uh, it's sad. And uh, now we've been watching our government that was based on uh, Christian values start to disassemble, come apart divide us all and uh, 
yet there is even though I'm bringing up all this kind of stuff that sounds rough around the edges there's people trying to hold on people trying to keep their faith people trying to remember how to keep families together how to keep their faith yet some of them or a lot of things like that are starting to be prosecuted by others being divided in fact the structure the structure of uh, Christians and Jews and all kinds of wonderful faith religions are being belittled even pushed aside for manly beliefs let's say like man thinks everything that's been created is the ultimate and what's created the earth we uh we all know for sure that there was something bigger and uh the sad thing is is the very document that tell us exactly how two events are going to happen or have has happened one was the great flood which when things were perfect and we had this paradise we just destroyed it by greed and sin and uh, false worshipping of things man created stuff when it was all given to us by a creator now the thing on this video is I don't usually try to be a and I don't want to use the word religious I want to use the word faith um, and, and I am not a, always the right person for this subject but every one of us supposedly have the ability to uh, talk about our Creator and when we do somehow or some way the words and uh, comments that we make will touch somebody that needs to hear it and that's kind of what I'm doing today. So let's sit down for a minute and, and talk about this. So I'm outside near my garden, my beautiful garden, trying to imagine what paradise must have been like. I don't even think I could comprehend it. The thing is, is the evidence of a creator the evidence that uh, there was a big flood is there. And I do want to recommend a set of uh, uh, DVD uh, called The Great Flood. Uh, it was forced, and you, and you can watch it for free on uh, Amazon. And I highly recommend you watch all th four of those DVDs and, and take a couple days to do it but give yourself no distractions and then you might want to go out and try to buy the DVD because you'll want to play it over and over again because it's so hard to comprehend all this but the thing is there was an end of days already once and it's been documented in the in the globe the earth has evidence of it all over yeah there's been people who uh, you know with evolution um, concepts and stuff but uh, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things that just don't add up so uh, to briefly go through things um, this might help if you're someone that wants to understand history a little bit and maybe uh, maybe uh, 
you see things going on in the uh, in the east with Israel and stuff like that, and you kind of don't understand some of the things they're talking about and why people are doing what they're doing over there, and what some of the uh, beliefs are, and uh, why even uh, Jewish people act the way they do. Um, if you get curious about that, once again, that's documented also. And, uh, and by the way, the noise you hear in the background is my NFT running behind us. And it sounds kind of pretty, it kind of sounds like a, 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 a little waterfall, a little pond or something, but it's just water running through the system. But uh, what I want to talk about is there is a promise of a second changing of the world and it's been called end of days or it's called uh well it's basically when jesus will come back to the earth or god um and reclaim this beautiful planet and now once again i'm not an expert at all this and I'm, i probably won't word things the way uh my minister or somebody else would but uh I can tell you right now, this book right here, in this box, is a complete history of basically our lives, our world, our uh, community, our people. How did we even get to this? How did I get to this spot? And it all starts really, one, with the beginning of the earth, two is ending the earth because of corruption, and then a restart and eventually the creation of uh, um, the Jewish people, Israel. And you say, how, how did that all happen? And you're like, it's in a book. It's in this beautiful book. This beautiful book is my gift from my church. And it's my personal study Bible. And this is a beautiful gift. This book tells you how things started, how things got to this point, how people have been influencing the world and how our creator has been involved in it. We are people of freedom of thought. We're not influenced by some super being all the time, uh, interfering with our choices. We have our own personal choice of how we want to live. And nobody, not even our creator, is going to step in and change that. You have free will. So it's really up to you to decide what's right. Do you truly believe that when things are over it just goes blank do you really believe that all this isn't unique do you really believe that animals evolved it's a pretty hard to really comprehend that you really have to start thinking was there a creator involved and maybe it wasn't millions of years that all this happened Maybe that happened in a period of six to, so, six to seven thousand years. And there's so much evidence. If you go to Grand Canyon, there's the best place you could go. And once again, everything I'm talking about here is in that DVD I was telling you about called um, Days of Noah. But this book, this beautiful book, tells you all about Israel. It tells you all about why the Jews are the way they are and why things are going on over there. But at the same time, it tells you that, yes, Israel and the Jewish people were special to our Creator, but He opened the door to us Gentiles, to all of us. And uh, He did that basically through Jesus. And now all of us have the opportunity to walk hand in hand with a Creator. And once again, I don't want to make this video as a turn off or a preaching thing. It's just, it's getting to a point that we're seeing corruption, we're seeing division, we're seeing the loss of empathy and morality. We're seeing our families and our, uh, our children 
corrupted with crazy ideas and things that just aren't right. To sit around a dining room table with our families anymore is so rare. And we're watching our land and our earth and our food and our weather and our politics and our government and on and on and on getting worse and worse and worse. And the point is, is something's happening. And that everything that's happening right now is documented. If you want to know what's going on and why things are happening the way they are and why we're being divided, why we're being deceived so much, it's in this book. It's in this book. One book. One book, the best-selling book in all, all time. And if you're not one that likes to read or can't interpret things, there's no excuse anymore. We have audio books. We have video presentations that help us interpret this book. I'm not a big heavy-duty reader, and when I read the Bible, a lot of times it doesn't sink in. I need help. So that's where my church comes in, that's where DVDs come in, that's where audiobooks come in to help me learn about this. So don't let that be an excuse that, oh, I read the, you know, the way they wrote the book and all that stuff, it's too hard for me to comprehend. Do it another way. They said in this book, it says that this message will, will be worldwide. And by gosh, with internet the way it is and all that, the mercy, this message is getting out worldwide. So I urge you to be curious. I urge you to wonder, if, if you're not feeling right, you have a gut feeling something's going on, it's intentional. It's basically good versus evil. And our job is in our own way to let people know what's happening. Now I'm doing it in a, uh, uh, a way that, say, a church wouldn't do it. I'm doing it as a homesteader, a prepper. Why do I prep? Because I know what's ha going to happen. I don't doubt what's going to happen. And I don't doubt what's going to happen to me when I die. No doubt. And do I have uh, issues? Do I have sins to deal with and stuff? Of course I do, all of us do, one way or another. Yet that can be erased, just like that, by just opening your heart and uh, embracing the new covenant, basically, that everybody has entitlement to the next life, which this is, if you can learn that this is only a short ride, that living in these bodies and, and, and living the way we are, there's a eternity of a beautiful life in that old paradise I was just talking about. It's not over. Do you not close your eyes and you always have that voice in your head going blah, 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 blah. But if you look beyond that voice, do you not see a light, a star, an entity, a brightness, an impulse, or a ball of light? Showing you that there's something special behind you. And we, you might want to call that your soul, your light, your, your life light. Do you really think it's going to be extinguished? Just wiped out when you die and it just goes blank? End of story? Are we not that unique not to have a special entity inside of us, our spirit? Do you not think that spirit will go somewhere else after you die? This is just the body. And the older I get, the more I realize that you want to live life with fulfillness, fulfillment, and you want to live life in a positive manner, and you want to uh, be a good person, and yet you'll still wave off your journey but you can be brought right back on the right path by just using some common sense things and learning more about God and Jesus.
I know all those terrible, I just use the word faith. Maybe you want to check out your faith. Maybe you should check out if there really is a creator. Maybe you want some answers to what's going on in the world. Why everybody's ready to go to war. Why there's problems with food. Why there's problems with uh, pandemics. Why there's problems with our government. Why we're being divided. Why we're not, in, we're not tolerating one another. What is causing that? And it's documented exactly and everything that's happening right now is in this book. Show me or tell me anywhere else that can tell you what's going on. This is human history right here. And it's human future. It's been told to us what to look out for. And everything that is in this book has been coming true through prophecy. So I hope that this was a talk not to turn you off, but to maybe get you curious to maybe, maybe I should start reading this. Maybe I should get some audiobooks. Maybe I should take Rob's uh, idea and, and go to Amazon. It's free and watch the four DVDs, I don't get anything out of this, called Days of Noah. Because it'll go from the beginning to the end and use common sense, scientific knowledge, and information from the Bible to tell you what's happening. And we are getting so close to the end. But when I say the end, it's actually the beginning, a wonderful beginning. And yes, some of us may have to die for our cause, but we're called to do that. And maybe I'll lose subscribers because of this, but I was called to do this. All of us are called to, to let everybody know that the time of reckoning is coming and there's something that all of us need to know or we our second lives may not be, uh, I hope that's the right word to use, as pleasant as it could be. It all depends on you and your choices. So I hope I touch somebody's heart. I hope you realize that the most powerful weapon is love. And yes, our creator doesn't tell us to sit around the couch and watch watch football games, just be prepared, be active, get involved. I've got a voice beyond just my property, and that's my channel. And occasionally I need to remind people what motivates me and Sherry. It's this book. And have we been on this path journey the whole time? Kinda. But as time has gone on, the more curious Sherry and I have gotten about what is going on. And if you want to know what's going on, it's right here in this book. So I urge you, please start getting curious. Start wondering about your faith and start wondering about our Creator. Do you truly believe that we just came from nothing and we're as unique as we are compared to everything else on this earth? And yet all the other factors of animals and plant life and everything else seems to follow a certain rule. That's too amazing. But some things are going to be starting to happen that's going to scare you and you're going to start living in fear. And, and you're probably, a lot of you are already doing that. And the, the answer is, do not be in fear. Embrace it and understand what's happening. And once you understand what's happening, you will sleep better. You will be happy. You will feel love. You will feel contentment. And you know that you have a wonderful life 
here and later on for eternity. So guys, I hope this was a good video for you. I hope that I've touched the heart of at least one person. And if, if it was more than that, wonderful. And if you would share this video, I would really appreciate it. So please, homestead, please stir up on food, be prepared. Being prepared means being educated. Being prepared says it's okay to store away some food. No, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, my magical creator is going to save me. From what? This place? Heck no. He's saving a spot for me. No matter what I do here, as long as it's good and righteous, I've got a great place to go. And so do you, if you understand what's going on and who's involved. So guys, once again, share this video. I love you all. I hope it was a good message to you. And uh, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe to our, uh, our channel. We'd appreciate it. So guys, take care now. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.